Hello, this is Sandy with Sandy's Crafty Creations. Welcome to another one of my tutorial videos. Today I'm going to share with you how I created this School Memories mini album for Graphic 45. Let's get started. For this project, I'm using Graphic 45 Square Pockets and Tags Staple Album in Craft. Their 12x12 Children's Hour Collection. Also the 12x12 Off to the Races Prints and Solids along with Children's Hours chipboard sets and tags and pockets. Plus I'm also using some Good Old Sport by Graphic 45 which is a retired collection from my stash and I've also pulled out my Graphic 45 letter stamp set, ribbons, flowers and other supplies. Working with a pre-made album I measure and cut all the papers I need to cover the pages and pockets as desired and I also cut these all out at once. I go ahead then and ink the edges of my cut paper so I'm ready to glue them into the book. Plus I also cut out any tags, uh, decorative strips that I want to use in the album and have those ready to go. First decide on the papers that you want to use for the outside of your album for your covers. I also selected the paper that I wanted as the background of my embellishments on the front cover. And I go ahead and attach those down with glue and next I'm ready to work on the spine section. Now you can't remove this metal plate that's on your spine so to accomplish that you need to measure and cut two pieces of paper that will fit along each side of the plate lay them over it and cut out a notch and then use a tool to lift the plate up on the sides and glue and slide the papers in so they will have a small gap then you need to cut a strip of paper to cover that gap and then cut it so that it slides into the top and the bottom and glue down so it will look like this when finished. Next glue the papers into the inside front and back covers and then go ahead and glue your papers down on your solid pages and also on your pocket pages. For the tags that come with your album, you will need to decide if you want to pattern the front and the back or just one side. I decided to just do the front side, so cut, measure and cut your papers for that, round the corners if desired, and then cover each tag. I will be sharing some still photos of finished pages of the way I decorate them in my album, and then there will also be some live outtakes showing you how I create certain elements in my book. This is something fun you might want to include in your album. I took a set of the ATC Graphic 45 policy envelopes, cut the top flap off of all of them except for the very back one, glue them all together, and then let the flap of the back one attach to the closure of the first one, and this creates a nice little pocket area uh, for notes and things. So this is how it looks when it was finished. Also save the tabs the flaps from the ones that you cut off and you can use them to create little pockets or uh, flip up pages or sections on your pages as you see on the left side. You can easily create a large pencil for your school book out of some of the pattern paper from Graphic 45. I use one inch strip and then I cut a little bit of the striped paper to make the metal band of the uh, pencil and then yellow cardstock for the eraser and cream cardstock for the point of the pencil. I used a black Copic marker to make the draw the tip of the lead for the pencil and use a corner rounder for the eraser. These are really fun and quick to create.
Here I've added the pencil that I just made to one of the pockets and I saved the other one to put on the cover of the album. I also took a small composition book that I bought at the uh, local Five and Dime and tore out some of the pages so that it wouldn't be so thick and inserted that into the pocket. To create a mini chalkboard I cut a square out of chipboard, out of black chipboard, and then used chalk paint, blackboard paint, to paint this. So you paint it in one direction and allow it to dry a little bit, and then you paint it the other way and then let it dry for about 24 hours before adding any chalk. Once it was dry, I took my little chalkboard and matted it to a piece of patterned paper and then placed it onto an album page. And now I am adding rubbing chalk on it and wiping with a dry cloth to give it a chalky finish so that it can actually be wrote on with chalk. I also added a tiny little piece of chalk at the bottom and an eraser that I made out of paper. This is how my finished page layout looks with the little chalkboard and I'm going to show you the rest of my pages that are all finished. It's all self-explanatory pretty much. Just add different trims and pattern papers and decorations that you have. Fussy cut out flowers and have a fun time. I will show you later in the video how I added my closure and finished the cover of my album. Before I uh, decorate the cover of my album, I am going to create a closure piece out of a strip of elastic and out of a parachute uh, buckle that I purchased at the fabric department in a, in a sewing store. So you can find it in most sewing departments. So I'm going to insert the elastic into the latch and then glue the elastic so that it stays in place. So you, when you use glue, you do have to let it dry completely before you attach it to the album. You could also sew this if you wanted to. So I'm going to speed up the video while I create this closure and show you how I put it on.
I patterned a small clipboard uh, out of a chipboard set from Gypsy Sew Laser Cuts and right now I am adding black chipboard squares or rectangles to the back of the little clipboard to give it some lift on the upper part so that it fits correctly over the elastic that I just added, the elastic closure that's on the cover. So I'm adding glue to the bottom and I'm going to place this down on top of the cover of my album. Next I'm going to add flowers and other embellishments, uh, a bow, different things to the front, some uh, paper that I have punched, decorative punched, and some a title that I cut out that says School Days. And so I'm going to finish decorating the cover of my album and I'll go ahead and speed this up for you. For the metal book plate on the spine of the album, I cut a small piece of paper and inserted that over the craft part. And then on top of that, I used some sticker numbers and put the year, 2017 through 2018. And then I coated all of that with some glossy accents to seal that all in. As a final touch, I used my Graphic 45 number stamps and stamped the 2 plus 2 equals 4 on the top of the little clipboard using black memento ink. My School Days Memories album is finished and I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.